15. Guys, what a great time to be alive. We have solar powered e-bikes now. Of course you have to make it yourself and it looks kind of ridiculous, but what a glorious time to be alive. All right, hey guys, I'm Johnny Nerdout. If you're new to this channel, uh, I'm an e-bike builder, mechanic, e-bike enthusiast, solar panel enthusiast, love just being off grid, everything. So I really love this setup. And uh, so yeah, let me get right into it and uh, talk about what I did and how it works. So it's pretty simple. We've got a 100 watt solar panel here that there's a rack here on the back that all I did was just, it, it fits perfectly here on the back of a Benno Carrion. It's like it was meant to be. I just drilled a couple holes in the back here and I literally put my blood and sweat and tears into this. You can see that bloody band-aid there, cutting this thing in, I was an idiot. Um, so I zip tied this to the frame and then underneath, you could see here, um, I've got a little watt meter here so I can see what's coming out of the solar panel. And then it goes into my step up converter, which takes the, you know, 17 volt signal and bumps it up to up to 58 volts, which is exactly what my 52 volt battery tops out at charge. So it's perfect. And I have it, this step up converter goes into another watt meter because I just want to see the data. I want to see what's going into this thing and what's coming out of this thing. So what's going into my battery. Let's see, it's 15, 15 and a half. All right, so it's not getting a whole lot. It's probably, it will be getting between 10 and 15 watts generally, which is not a whole lot. But obviously like angling this differently and all that will have a, a much different effect. But I mean, it is free power. If I'm just chilling, you know, if, I, if I'm going camping, <laughs> hey, I'll, I'll juice this thing up in a day, maybe. So anyways, so this thing costs about a hundred bucks. The step up converter costs like 20, 25 bucks. These things each cost like 10 bucks. So all in all, I'm in at like 150 bucks. That's pretty sweet. Another way to do this, obviously this is the simplest way to do it. I could also, you know, run this into a battery bank and then have the battery bank into an inverter that would, you know, give you 110 volts that would charge this battery up a lot quicker. Maybe a more effective way. I don't know why this is only putting out 10 watts, but. Um, and as you can see here, all I did was I put Anderson connectors coming out of the solar panel here. I did an Anderson to XT60 that goes into the up converter, comes into an XT60 that goes into just a bare wire in and out, which then comes back into a XC60. And then that XT60, I just took my normal plug, I just cut my charger off and put it into an XT60. So it's charging. We'll see. I've, I think when it's like a really direct, bright, sunny, I should be able to get, I don't know, a lot more watts out of it than it is right now. It's really overcast right now. So I'm not expecting it to get a ton of energy, but hey, if I can get free watts, I'll take free watts. That only cost me 150 bucks. Uh, the solar panel only is about as wide as my handlebar. So it's not really wider than anything. It's not adding anything that I need to be aware of. It's about as wide as my handlebars. So yeah, it should be pretty cool. This is this might be the nerdiest thing I've ever done. It's pretty sweet. All right, hopefully you guys find this entertaining at the very least. So, all right, later y'all.